Good morning, everybody. This episode, we are going to learn a new hook called Use Navigate. This is really cool because it allows us to force the user to visit a new page on our application. However, it's different than a link. A link, the user actually has to click, whereas Use Navigate, we can put this inside of event handlers. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a search bar. User types something in, slaps the search button, and force them to go to a new page. Now, if you are coming from an earlier version of React Router, you might be familiar with Use History, or you might see that floating around. Well, Use Navigate is the newer suggested way of doing this and is the only option available in the newest versions of React Router. So Use History, Use Navigate, pretty similar, probably good to be familiar with both, but Use Navigate is the way to go in the future. But before we get started in the code, be sure to subscribe as we navigate our way to a million subscribers. Man, that was good. So we're gonna start here in app.js because I wanted to call out a few things. In earlier videos, we created this parameterized route where we can pass in the search term. And we also have this definition page without the parameter. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have this dictionary page, which is going to kind of be the home page and have a search bar. And then when we visit a definition, we're actually going to use this route down here. So this definition route without any data passed in is no longer necessary. We're just going to remove that. And what that means is we are required to pass in data. For example, if we go to localhost 3000 slash definition by itself, we don't get anything on the page. And we'll talk about 404s here soon, but this will work for now. So we'll start on the dictionary page. We can type in something We'll search for it, and then it'll go to a definition. Now, I already have some starter code here, but if you're just jumping in, no problem, because we're pretty much going to get rid of a lot of this. So what we'll do is we will go into the dictionary component, and we're no longer going to need this for word two, where I had two of them there. So I will remove that input, and I'll also remove the repeating the word that they're searching here. So now our page is going to look just like this. And we also have these use effects up here. We're not going to need those for now, so we'll remove those and remove the other word that we were working with. So yeah, if you're just jumping in, this is the code that you want to have. And if you're following along, you'll probably just want to delete what I just deleted. So we're all on the same page. So this is what our site looks like. Pretty beautiful. And just as a reminder, we're going to worry about styling at the end. So let's just get the functionality figured out. What we're going to do is we're actually going to not only have an input, but we're also going to have an HTML button. And this is going to have an on click. And we'll make this button say search. So now let's go ahead and fill in the on click with a function and console log click. Save. And now let's check out the console. When I hit search, you can see the value showing up over here. So the event handler is working. And now let's talk about how we can navigate to a new page using use navigate. So first thing is we're going to import it from React Router DOM. So import use navigate from React Router DOM, which you'll make sure that you have that installed. It is something that is a separate dependency. So you'll just want to say npm install react router dom if you don't already have it. Now we're going to create a reference to it similar to how we did use state, but it's gonna look different because we're not gonna have two variables here. So we will just say navigate is equal to use navigate. And we will say const navigate. And then anytime we want to work with the URLs, we're going to use this navigate variable. So let's go ahead into this button click and we'll say navigate and then pass in a path such as slash definition slash I'll just hard code a value right now. Tacos, save, and we'll go back, hit search, and it goes to the definition of tacos. Pretty sweet. From this point, we should easily be able to substitute in the value that we're storing inside of this word state. So I don't know, we probably could have just done that to begin with, but we can just say plus word. And now we can search whatever we type in, Texas, hit search. Oh no, undefined reading meanings. Whoa, what in the world? Let's go to network. 
let's check out Texas. It's responding a 404, so it doesn't appear they have a definition for Texas. So we're going to worry about that soon. Like I mentioned, 404s will come after this functionality. So 404 means the resource wasn't found, and that can be one issue we run into. Another one is it's unable to connect. And in that situation, we're not going to get a 404. So instead of saying definition not found, we might want to say error connecting. We're going to talk about that. But so far, so good. Let's try it with an actual word that they understand, maybe pool. And there you go. You can now use this as your personal dictionary. If you want to just see the code for how this definition page is working real quick, go into this file definition and we're just calling that directly with the search term. And then we're just traversing through the JSON structure to set the word which is then displayed on the page they give multiple definitions that's why we are iterating through each one of them so not too bad just wanted to throw that in this video for completion sake now i want to talk a moment about history what happens if we hit the back arrow right now we hit back and it goes back to the dictionary page as you'd probably expect that being said we have the option of passing in an additional object here with some settings so we could say replace and set this to true. So now let's go search a word such as replace, hit search, the URL changed here, but if I go back, you can see it goes to a previous page. So what's going on here is that it's replacing our current spot in the history. That's all I got on Use Navigate in this video. If you want to do continued research, I suggest looking up redirects, how to do those, because you can redirect if a page is not found, or you might want to learn how to display content on that page versus redirecting. So showing the 404 on that page or showing an error if something goes wrong. That's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. Stay tuned. It's going to be so exciting. See you then.